my fellow nerds. I am finally living up to my name, NerdGamer2000. Gamer as in gaming, because I have not done that yet. And what better way to start off gaming than with Five Nights at Freddy's. Now I have played all the way up to Night 5, like years ago, but I'm going to start over and actually beat it with you guys. So, first night, always a blast. Second night, probably easy, so today's video, we can get through the first two nights easy. And I did not read what was on the paper, but whatever. Okay, so it's probably a little outdated to make videos on Five Nights at Freddy's, but um, actually I'm going to let the guy talk first. Hi. Or person. Yeah, me too. These characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roam mode at night. Free roam? Uh, so servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. The bite. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Nice. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with crossbeam, wired, and electronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. And death, uh, yes. The only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs Okay, so now that he's done talking, Five Nights at Freddy's is a horror-based click game. Well, including all the games, there is a storyline, but the first one is basically just a horror click game, trying to, sur to survive six hours at night from these guys, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and Foxy. And... As the nights go on, it gets harder, and as the nights go on, I die more and more. And it's a game of listening, but at first night is always easy. I do plan to play the other games. Um, I myself have not played the other games, 
big oh boy I have not played the other games because oh sorry I can't talk I haven't played the other games because I want to beat them in order and you know figure out the storylines for myself I don't know where Bonnie went oh there's Bonnie hi I don't know if you can see my cat right now. That clinking usually means someone's in the kitchen. I have a very nice cat. Right here. Okay. So Bonnie will be showing up soon. And please don't step over everything. Need my cat for good luck. It's so much easier watching people play it than it is to actually play it yourself. And now Spice is laying on my arm. So if I need to act fast, I can't. Now with the games, I will be beating them all the way. But there are, are like intense game modes that I will not do. Maybe in the future, if people really want it. Yeah, goodbye. But that's all I would really do. You got no. It's okay, night one is pretty easy. But it is more difficult with the cat on your arm. Dum dum doo dum dum. Ooh, Chica, what are you doing on night one? Chica. No. I'm okay wasting power. It's almost six. It should be almost six. When things get a little interesting. Oh. 
spots in your camera view. And those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Oh, uh, of course. Talk to me soon, or talk at me soon? Because you were not talking to me. Oh boy. Where are you? There you are. I'm using way too much power. Chica. Now I have technically done a let's play on this, but it was with my dad. I'll link that video. It was also a few years ago. Our intro video was very strange. Okay, so those footsteps, if you hear them on the left, or the right, or if it's switched or whatever, it usually means that they're on that side. That's how I knew Chica was on the right side, even though Chica isn't supposed to show up. Stop, what are you doing? Sorry, my nose is so runny. Chica's going through the kitchen. Oh, hi, Foxy. I'm not talking much, I am listening. Did she get, okay. Oh, oof. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on Foxy. And conserve power, which I don't think I can do. Oh. That was what killed me the first time playing. Being a jump down spice. By the way, I got my nails done. They're very pretty. But that's not important right now. What's important is living. You can't live without pretty nails. Okay, I can do this. Foxy's not gonna do anything.
please. <sighs> okay. Third night. No time for third night. That's going to be next video. Well, not the next video, but the next time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Technically not my first Let's Play, but technically is at the same time because it's kind of more official and this is stupid what the what the close those it's more official and not wacky you know so i hope you enjoyed today's video and stay nerdy